Hello everybody, it's Debbie 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 Code. And uh I'm going to be showing a tutorial um about how to create your own milkshake models um for for Gary's mod. Oh one second, technical difficulties. Okay, sorry about that. Um well, as you can see I used to have a, a little thing here. Um, which is even better because I'm going to be showing you how to do this from scratch. So you can start with a model. Um, I'm just going to start out with a um, with a. Um, I'm going to do a sphere. Why not? Um, this is a um, multiple part tutorial. So um, so um, if you want to see the rest then uh, it'll be here later like um, adding animations to them and so on and so forth um there's different modes to select like vertex face group joint um mostly we're going to do vertex and group today um vertex uh, if you uh, deselect it by clicking anywhere else on the map over here this top view um i think this is left view front view um you can actually select certain vertices or certain points and of course these are all things you can do rotate scale um i'm gonna do rotate i actually haven't done that but as you can see we got a little kind of pac-man thing um so i'm actually going to be making pac-man wow what um this has um unlimited possibilities and the um fully licensed copy costs money I really suggest that you put in the investment. Okay, so I'm going to move it up like so. We got a kind of weird pack in, but what else? Okay, well, it's trial and error, guys. So, now that we have that in place, um, let's say I'm just going to stop here. Um, as you can see over here, we have groups. This is um, right now named Sphero 1. If you want to change it, you can... I'll uh, highlight it, uh, backspace, enter, I'm going to do pack body, it doesn't really matter what you put in it, um, if you like lower cases, that's fine, it's not case sensitive, um, unlike most scary mod things, um, as you can see, the materials, joints, we're going to be messing with that, okay, so as you can see here, we have a basic kind of thing set up here, I'm going to add sphere here um i'm gonna add a sphere here and oh wait okay oh oh i didn't mean to do that okay i'm gonna add this wait wait you're gonna get it takes a while it kind of takes a while to master this thing just butterfingers a butterfingers butterfingers okay so uh, we have what are supposed to be eyes. I kind of screwed up there. Yeah, it's trial and error. Um, I'm just gonna remove it. That they, they do not look right. Um, and to do that, um, you can click the body and delete it. You can also select it from here, and you can also double click here to select and deselect it. Um, I'm using a mouse. I just got it um, uh, a while ago, and I like it better than a track. Um, anyway, we're getting off topic here. Now, uh, the real kicker here is that um, we get to put our own textures in it. Well, of course, kind of. Okay, oh, don't mind that. Um, we're going to open up um, BTF Edit. I forgot to mention that you're going to need a BTF Edit. I... Actually, I'm just going to edit to the beginning of this video for convenience. Okay, so I um we're gonna use VTF Edit for um one reason. Um, open up texture file. I click file open. Um, this is a project I was working on earlier. Oh wait, no, not project. It was file import. Um, now you can import your own um pictures. I'm gonna click this one because this is what I made specifically for it. Uh, it's just yellow, as you can see, yellow. Okay, um, click a uh, file, save as. Might not see the whole thing. Sorry, it's clipped out. Um, now 
I forgot to mention this. You're going to have to create a root folder. If you do not actually know how um Gary's mod mods like um the the models are set up, this is how it goes. Um Pac-Man well, new folder. So I'm going to make a root in here. You can name this whatever you want. You can name this is one many as you want. Um um Okay, you can name any folder as long as you uh, you can put make as many folders and name them as much as you want as long as they're inside of each other. Um, now Pac-Man is inside of Cole, and now I'm gonna put um. Now you have to put models in the end of this folder chain. Um, you can only put one, which is the more accepted way, but I'm an advanced user because <laughs> I want to keep my things organized. Uh. And then make a materials folder and um I copied the um model folder for a reason, just wait. And I'm gonna paste it. So I have the same thing in each here. So now we're gonna go materials, models, mm, the directory, um, enter let's say anything you really want actually. I'm gonna name it pack skin. So it's gonna be a VTF. Okay, now tools, you have to click tools here, click a VMT file, click options, and over here, you have to enter vertex lit generic. Don't forget that, um, or else your um, model will be invisible. So, um, put it here. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you 100% have to um, put a, okay, let me open it real quick. I forgot about this. You absolutely have to, um, oh, I deleted it. Oops. Okay. Um, anyway, you absolutely have to, um, put a text, underscore texture at the end of it. So, um, I'm going to do <laughs> underscore texture. Sorry about that. Um, yes. So I have same setup here. Just fill that in for me. Vertex lit. Okay. That's good. Wait. Cancel. I already made it. I already made it. Okay. So now I have my model here. And it's a little pack man. Now we're going to add the material. So click new. And you can rename this material. I'm going to say pack skin. So it corresponds. You don't actually have to. Click this box right here. You can actually make them overlap with only two pictures. I think that's how it works. Don't go by me. Um, okay. So, materials. Um, VTF. And now, this is in it. Now, of course, it's going to look like the texture. Um, now, once you have something selected, click Assign. Now, it's all yellow. Um, if you can't see it, there's different options here. Wireframe, wireframe, flat shaded, smooth shaded, textured. You got colored groups, colored smoothing groups, yeah, all that cool stuff. Oh, we also have um transparency. Um, you probably don't want to mess with it if you're if you don't want any transparency, unless you're making a ghost from Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. We have joints stuff like this. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it here. Um, now next part of it have to actually compile it. So you need to go to file um export um half life SMD. Now um go to somewhere easy like your desktop um make a new folder called compile or oh, you can name it anything really. I'm gonna name it pack man yeah okay so okay you have to make sure it's a reference, okay? If you do a sequence, that means it's an animation. I'll get to that in a different video. I have to make this Pac-Man, and then, well, whatever the first one is, and then you have to do underscore collision. You you just make it um noticeable so you can tell if it's a collision or not. Because, um, they, although they are the same SMD, um, you are going to have to use it for two separate things. Yeah, I know. Kind of, kind of weird. But... Um, okay, now you're going to need a, um, wait, yes, okay, you're going to need a 
compile to C. Now, I'm copying this from another compile folder that I made earlier, because yes, I make my own mods there. Okay, um, if you have Notepad++, that's awesome. I'm going to put this code in the description. My model name. Okay, so you have to enter the directory of it. So, so mine is Cole Pac-Man, right? And then keep this MDL here, and this, um, I'm going to make it Pac-Man.MDL. Um, so you have to enter... I have to enter your SMD for my body right here, that SMD. Um, CD materials, and you're going to have to do models and then find a directory to that, which is called Pac Man for me. Um, I'm sequence idle. Use um, the same thing, or else, you're, um, or else it's going to be the idle animation of the idle animation. It's going to be something else you don't want. Um, SMD. I accidentally deleted all that. Um, don't worry, you don't even need that in the first place. So slash and then the text. Um, that's just part of the template I received from the internet. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the collision model we were talking about. We're gonna do Pac-Man or whatever it's called. Um, that's why I said you should do underscore collision. That's because that's how I um identify it. Um, I'm gonna click save, and now we have a little compiley wiley folder on our desktop over here. Um, oh wait, wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, um, anyway, we have a compiley wirely thing over here, as you can see. So, yeah. Um, now we can get rid of this. Um, you can save just in case uh, you want to edit something later, but I'm not going to save because I know what I'm doing. So, uh, we have the compile folder here. And I'm gonna just bring this up for a second. I know you might have so saw this a few times in the video, just don't say anything about it. Navigate to your Gary's Mod directory. If it's Steam, then it will be in Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod. Um, for Steam specifically, um, yeah, follow that. Um, otherwise, you can look on the internet or just find out yourself if you're an advanced user. So, um, I, re I recommend Git Bash, okay? I do recommend Git Bash. So, I'm going to right-click it, open up Git Bash. Oh, um, yes. And I'm going to have to add that to the, the, um, the beginning as well. It's a long editing process. Okay. So, here's the code. Yes, I've been opening up this uh, folder for a while now. Just, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I um have a thing here, just to it. I use it to remind me um, what the code is. Yes. So I'm more CD. I'm gonna put this code in the description as per usual. So studio mdl exe minus not four minus game um the directory to your um to your Gary's mod folder slash Gary's mod. So it should look like this. You should have Steam or something else if you have just a standalone without Steam. And com oh make sure they're in parentheses too. Because um otherwise errors might happen. Mod slash Gary's mod. And we're going to need okay, in the parentheses to navigate to the um directory of your um of your compile folder. Now it should definitely be on your desktop. Um, um, compile. Oh yes, and I also forgot to. Um, oh, never mind. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, what I forgot to say is that, um, when you make your compile folder, now where did I put it? Oh yeah, okay. It's on the desktop. It's not showing up for some reason. When you make a compiler folder, remember to save it as a .qc file, not as a .txt. So, it should be called compile. So, I'm going to move this out of the way because the directory contains my username on here, which is my real name. That's what I've been throw. Just, um, one second. Okay, so in the end, it should say completed compile.qc. Your folder should be named compile. So once you get to the directory where the folder is in, you have to enter slash compile slash compile without the .qc. It already fills in the .qc for you, but you can enter the .qc just in case it doesn't work. Um, but yes, generating optimized mesh. 
and it's always appreciated if you don't have any yellow areas up here that means you added um paint but there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that at all it's just part of the um gary's mod thing so um yeah that's compiling it okay so we just compiled it and now of course we have to put it inside of our mod folder which is um to refresh your memory is this folder set up with the materials models just in case you don't know just in case okay so now we're going to have to um open up our mod directory and the reason i keep opening up this folder is because i have a shortcut to gary's mod in it um along with tons of other stuff like vtf edit and milkshake um there's a shortcut to Gar the gary's mod directory um now your model that you compiled will be in the um gary's mod directory and one sec load oh technical difficulties okay sorry about that um now it will of course if you can make some inference in here um it will be in models and of course it copy that directory which is super cool super swag so um open up your folder and navigate models uh yeah okay and make sure it's not in materials models okay these are other folders i was working on other i mean pub mario bomb just don't worry about that. Um, those are my folders that I forgot to get rid of. So now all you have to do is uh, select it all and move it into here. And make sure um, it's not in materials models. Make sure it's in just models. Did I say that before? I can't remember. But whatever. It's the sake of the tutorial. I might edit this part out anyway. Okay. Um, now we have this folder. Now what you're going to need... Sorry, I keep looking up this folder. I have um, tons of things in it. Um, what you're going to need is a um, add-on.json file. I'm just going to copy and paste it into here. So um, I'm going to have this code in the description. Um, open up your um, add-on.json file that you made. I just copied and pasted mine. Um, so it's going to look a little like this right here. Um, it says, um, title, I put that in myself, type, well, it's definitely not a weapon, it is a mod, um, tags, I'm just going to hit F1. Now, your add-on structure should look a lot like this, or even more things, if you have, if you have weapons, you see something like LA, and then there'd be weapons directory, that'll be in a different tutorial. So, um, and now we are going to, um, compile it once again, not like this, not with the model, no, we're doing it in a way different way. Oh, I used the same word twice, um, okay. So, I, um, you're going to have to open Gary's Mod directory again, so sorry about this, keep bringing up this folder. Um, okay, so, you have to navigate gary's mod directory bin so look for um gmat.exe now this is optional if you just want to put the folder in your um add-on directory that's fine but you can't um well you can share it with people but um you can't share it with people on steam so um and also when you use this it compresses the mod much smaller so it doesn't take up as much space that's another use for it. So this um, is basically for if you have Steam and you want to share it, or if um, you want to have a smaller file size without taking up too much space. Um, so yeah, what you're going to do is, what you're going to do, right click, um, if you should have git bash, um, yeah. So I'm going to open this. Okay, I got gmat.exe. Now, um, oh, sorry. Okay, just ignore sounds. It's the sounds of someone who has a phone. Okay, so, um, enter gmat.exe. As you can see, press any key to continue. Okay, so it says gmat.exe minus, uh, create minus folder path to folder out path to gmat. So this is how it works. Gmat.exe. Oh yes, I forgot earlier how I said my my name my real name was confidential info, but I forgot that it's actually showing it right here, which is kind of funny. 
So I'm I'm just going to put in my username anyway. Um, it's not like you know my last name or anything. What do you stalkers? Okay. Um. So you have to do create minus folder and then the directory to your folder. In this case, it's my desktop and uh, Pac-Man. Well, yep, that's right. Um, and then you have to do minus out. And it's um, if you have spaces anywhere, you should put it in parentheses. I mean, I mean apostrophes. What am I saying? Or what is it called? Quotation marks? Sorry, grammar is out of whack. You can, you can't. If it if it has spaces in it, then you should put quotation marks. So um, I'm gonna do this. Um, so if this is where the GMA is going to go, the compressed kind of thing. Um, one second, I'm gonna silence that phone thing. Sorry, you're probably irritated of it. Okay, with a little bit of torture. I mean, um. Just friendly methods. I got my iPod to shut off. My phone, I mean. <clears throat> Spoke too soon. Okay. So, um. How does one silence a phone? Okay. So, um. Sorry about that. Now, you're gonna have to choose the directory path to your GMA. So, mine is going to be Pacman, of course. Dot GMA. At the end of the dot GMA, um, of course. And that's my dog in the background. It's hard to get some peace and quiet when you're making a video. Problem solved. Okay, so I'm on my desktop here. I um should have. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to enter desktop. Well, now it's in my user folder. That's great. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. But for the sake of the video, let's just keep going. So make sure you do the full directory. Now it's I'm gonna say to my desktop. Okay. Yeah, okay, so sorry about that whole detour. Um, anyway, so now we have a product ready to be released on Steam. So, yeah, um, now you can upload this to garysmod.org, or you can even upload, um, you can even upload the, this to garysmod.org, but if you want to upload it to Steam, you're gonna have to use a GMA, and I, I think you should use a GMA for um, GarysMod.org too because um, it saves space. But also this one, if you want them to be able to edit it, or you want them to be able to use their resources because you're not a copyright, um, you're not a copyright person, then you can leave it like a folder, which is what most people do, unless they want either want to save space or they just are copyright people. But if you have Steam, you're going to have to use a GMA. Because, I don't know, it has something against folders. Although, they are really useful. So, yeah, that's how it works. By the way, you don't have to use git bash. There's another way around it, but I find it to be very helpful. Um, yeah. You can open it as long as you have the command console, but, um, you can't put in things. You can't, like, add, um, um, like, launch things to it without having, like, extreme knowledge. So, yeah, that's uh, compiling it again. So, um, Git Bash has a lot of features. Oh, yeah, we got Um, you can, so, like, now I'm working on my desktop, which is really useful. I recommend you totally get Git Bash. And yes, I put it in the front of this video anyway. So, now you have these two. You don't need this um, in case, I mean, like, unless you want to use it for um, other reasons. And now, oh my god, a really clear desktop. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. Boop. Okay. So, yes. Now, in, okay, well, so if you want to upload it to Steam, now I'm going on about... I'm going to go on 30 minutes if I keep going. About um almost there to I'm almost at 30 minutes with this whole video, so I think I should just edge in a little bit more. So um actually I'm just gonna leave it here, guys. Thanks for watching, and um in more videos if you want I can add um how to upload it to Steam and um how to add animations to your models. Um, but I'm probably going to end up doing it anyway, even if you guys don't want it, because I really don't have a lot to do. <laughs> so.
So yeah, thanks for watching.